Thank you and welcome to our channel. Today's video talks about four clear signs to identify witches. After this video, you'll be able to identify witches and you'll be able to wage war against them in prayer. Please do like and share this video to everyone. God bless you. I have sent my application to this company. Let me see if they've replied my message. What do I see this mail now? Oh, I think I've found something. What can this be? The company replied my message? What? Incredible, I can't believe myself. Hi Miss Jane, thank you for your interest in the job. After reviewing your application, we're pleased to invite you to a physical interview at our office by 8 o'clock, tomorrow morning. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow and to further discuss your application. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you and best wishes. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Thank you my God. This is a life transforming opportunity. Ah, Jane. What's it? I could literally hear you from the living room. Auntie Kate, remember the job I told you that I applied for? The job with the Coastal Oil Company? I have told you to stop wasting your precious time imagining to get a job with that company. That company receives unto a thousand and one application letter every single month. And they can only employ people from the most prestigious schools in the world. So they have no time to even look at your application. You better go to the street and find a way to survive like your mates are doing. Yes, auntie. Just wait for the good news first. As I'm talking to you, I just got a mail from the company and they asked me to come for a physical interview at their office tomorrow morning by 8. What? Are you sure about that? Yes, auntie. You can take a look at it on the computer. Anyways, don't put that to mind. They probably want you to feel happy. The bottom line is that there's no way they can offer you a job. With the millions of applications they get, you surely won't get a chance. So don't bother going there tomorrow morning, because you'll only waste your time and transport fare. Better you that energy and time to look for a menial job and do. Thank you, auntie. But I surely believe that I will succeed even if other people are failing. Me, I'll succeed. My Bible said that I will be the head and not the tail, and I believe it. Okay, Miss Believer. Inform me when you get the job. The first sign is that witches are always interested in your downfall. They are drawn to bad news. Nothing gives them satisfaction like bad news. Be careful, not every itching gear really care about you. Some only want to make sure your condition is that bad. What? This little girl thinks she can get a good job. That will never happen under my watch. Anyways, I'm sure she's going to be disappointed. She will surely come back empty-handed. Yes, let her watch and see. Auntie, good morning. Yes. Good morning, Jane. But where are you going dressed like that? Auntie, have you forgotten already? I told you I was invited for an interview today. Oh, that? I didn't take you serious. So you're really bent on going for the interview? Yes, Auntie. I believe I'll succeed. Even if everyone is failing, I'll surely get the job. All right, my dear. Your type will like to see for themselves before they'll believe. Auntie, I'm getting late. Let me be leaving. Home, this girl is a stubborn fly. I'll see what becomes of her today. Let me go to my coven and invoke powers that will hinder her. Jane, I curse you, I curse you. I curse your career. By the powers of witchcraft, I cover your star with blanket. Even if other people will be shortlisted, your name will never be found there. You'll come back in shame. 
Now return in shame. Yes, yes. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Yes, how may I help you? I was invited for an interview by the company. Oh, you're among the applicants. Please, what's your name so I can confirm that? My name is Jane Morgan. Okay, please have a seat while you wait for your session. Okay, thank you. Ah, I pray this interview today favors me. Hello, lady. You came for the interview? Yes. And you? Yes, dear. Okay. I see. How about the people here? Everyone here is for the interview. Oh, really? All of us people just for two vacant positions. I guess it's really going to be a tough interview after all. You mean tough? This should be the toughest interview you can imagine. Their screening process is just too strict. Anyways, I graduated from the best university in the country. I practically have nothing to worry about other than getting in there. Hmm, is that so? I really didn't graduate from any of the best institutes anyone can recognize. Nevertheless, I'm not losing my faith, no at all. Yes, I just got a message to proceed for my interview. Miss, please wish me success. I wish you all the best. Okay, thank you. Now that this guy have left, so I'm just going to keep waiting for my turn. I've been sitting here for over an hour now. Everyone else have all gone for the interview. My turn don't seem to be coming. What do I do now? I think I should seize this opportunity to pray. Lord Jesus, Thank you for this opportunity you've given to me. Thank you for I know that you'll bring the desires of my heart to past. By your name, I declare that I'll secure this job and every protocol before me is broken. I receive the grace to be outstanding in this interview today. In Jesus' name. Amen. While I wait, let me keep company with this magazines over here. I guess they kept it to keep people company and not for aesthetics. Something is not going right here. How can I be here all day with nobody attending to me? Somebody should explain to me. Let me go talk with the reception. Maybe they've skipped my name. Excuse me. I'm sure something is wrong somewhere. I've been waiting for my interview session since morning. Oh, you're among the applicants. So sorry, we didn't find your name in the system. So sorry. What? Please you can recheck it. I got a mail from the company. Sorry ma'am, there's nothing we can do. The interviewer is already on his way out. But just keep an eye on our company's website for any other opportunity. That's all for now. Hello lady, did you also come for the interview? Yes sir. So why were you not interviewed? Sir, the receptionist said she couldn't find my name in the system, and I've been waiting since morning. Did you get a mail from the company? Yes I did sir. Okay, just wait a minute, let me confirm from the receptionist. All right sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, please. The lady over there. Why did she miss her screening? Ah, uh, sir. I didn't see any information relating to her. I'm sure the company didn't send any invitation to her. What's her name? Her name is Jane Morgan. Is that so? Anyways. You should have contacted me before letting her go just like that. That's not fair a treatment. I'm sorry, sir. Since she has been here since morning, I think she deserves a chance. She have the kind of patience we're looking for. Miss, do you have all your documents with you? Yes, sir. Okay, come with me. Let me interview you before I go. 
Oh my God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, Miss Jane, tell me what you know about this company. When was it established and who were the first executive board members? Oh, mine? This was all I read from the companies a few minutes I was outside. Oh, mine? Thank God for today. Yes, sir. The company was established in 1985. And the first executive board members were Sir Alexander Bennett, Mrs. Evelyn Brooks, Victoria Carter and Lucas Anderson. So where's our headquarter located? Sir, first it was at Singapore. Now in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Okay, that's brilliant of you. So tell me what you know about our mission statement. Sir, the company's mission is to responsibly explore, produce, and deliver energy resources that have global progress. The company is dedicated to operating safely, efficiently, and with utmost respect for the environment. Through innovation and commitment to sustainability, the company strives to minimize her environmental footprint while providing reliable energy to communities worldwide. Oh mine, that's excellent. All my stay in this company, I've never seen a display of such excellence and brilliance. In fact, it will be a pleasure to have you work for us. I'm hereby offering automatic employment. I had scheduled further screening for your colleagues, but I'm calling of any further screening. Congratulations Miss Jane and welcome on board. Thank you so much sir. Where is my auntie? I guess she's at the living room. Let me go see her. She needs to hear the good news. Auntie, you can't believe it. What? What happened? Did they pursue you? No, auntie. I'm so excited. Could you believe that they almost forgot about me? But I used the opportunity to read through one of the company's magazines, not knowing that all the questions will come from there. The interviewer was astonished by how I answered everything accurately. Without hesitation, they offered me the job. Truly all things works for good to them that love God. So and then? Is that why you're screaming into my ears? Are you the first person to get a job? Auntie, please get inside there and prepare dinner meal. It's getting late. What? This little girl wants to try my power. Can you imagine? I clothed her and fed her. Now she wants to be greater than me and my children. I can never allow that to happen. No way. Why is my auntie mad at me? She's not even happy for me. I'm beginning to get uncomfortable. Well, I'll just hurry. God knows the secret thought of men. Second sign is that they have unusual hatred for the things of God. Like Jezebel in the Bible. Which is hate when anyone around them mention anything about God. They'll always look for a way to subjugate people around them with fear. Lord Jesus, thank you for manifesting yourself to me today. I know you have a reason why you have brought me into this house. Therefore I decree that no evil shall befall me. Lord I ask that you build your walls of defense over me against my enemies. I'm favored and my life shall continue to be favored. Amen. What is this girl doing again? I thought I had warned her not to disturb my peace in this house with her senseless prayers. Let me get in there and see what her problem is. I thought I warned you not to be disturbing the neighborhood with your meaningless prayers. Haven't I? Auntie, hum. It's just that I cannot do without prayer. Prayer is my way of life as a Christian. After all, I wasn't even raising my voice. I don't know how you manage to notice each time I pray. Jesus said that I should pray without ceasing. Shut your mouth. Which Jesus? Do you have Jesus and you're living in my house? Do you have Jesus and your life is like this? All this your prayer is why bad luck have been all over my house. The next time you pray in this house, you'll pack your things and go stay with whoever you call Jesus. Nonsense. The third sign is that witches are often mysterious. They have bizarre behavior, you'll notice that they avoid some things that a normal person won't have any issue with. You may also find out that they always want to maintain some unnecessary privacy, like a private room or lounge. This is where their charms and items are kept. 
Auntie, good morning. What? What are you doing here? I have warned you not to enter this room. I saw the door was open, so I just thought to greet you. Get out of here now. And never you enter here again. What's happening? What's it about that room? Why is it a fence for me to enter there? I'm getting scared about all of this. Where did I keep my clothes? I can't find it. I dropped the clothes right here before I slept last night. So where is it now? I think I saw something that looks like my clothes in my aunt's private room. Oh my god, that's true. I'll have to go back there to see what my clothes are doing in there. That's the room over there. Thank god she just left now. I must have to see if those clothes belongs to me. Nothing shall happen to me, for surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. Let me go in now. What? What's all of these here? Candles, pot, mirrors, charms. What's she doing with all of these? This my auntie have been up to something. I knew it. Let me pick my clothes and leave. Nothing evil will happen to me in Jesus' name. The fourth sign is unscriptural practices. Witches always seize every opportunity to substitute God's power with other practices. They may carry charms or even provide magical solutions. As I sprinkle this salt and water over this place, I take the glory that belongs to anyone that steps in here. I take every glory that belongs to my niece, and I replace it with pain and sorrow. Yes. Yes. Auntie, what are you doing with salt and water? And why are you spraying it all over the place? Ah, Jane. The salt and water is a way to invite favor and blessings to my house. Is that so? Well, if it's never written in the Bible, I'll only consider it barbaric. You shut your mouth. Who are you to tell me what's barbaric or not? This is a ritual that was handed over to us by our forefathers. By the way, who gave you those clothes in your hand? Auntie, these are my clothes. I just came to wash them. What? Any problem? No, not at all. How did she see those clothes? Does it mean she entered my chambers? I must have to eliminate her before she exposes my secrets. Yes, Jane. Please remind me when you're supposed to be resuming your work. Oh, that. Tomorrow morning. Oh, really? So I'll be missing you soon. Okay, I'll be in my room. Jane. Jane. This night, I invoke the powers of my witchcraft against you. As you step out tomorrow, by the powers of witchcraft may you never come back. May you have accident and never be able to resume your job. From now, you'll never move forward again. In fact, you'll take ten steps backwards. Yes. <laughs> Since my auntie do not want me to pray in her house, I've decided to stay here and pray, as she calls on her charm, me I'll call on my God, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your name for you are forever faithful. May your name be lifted above every other name. I decree today that my day shall be full of gladness, no wicked power will see me. For you shall give your angels charge over me. Let all the camp of the wicked be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I pray for my aunt, let her come to the realization that you're the only true God, and every other God's a man-made deception. Thank you for you've answered me in Jesus' name. Amen. What's that? What? My charms are broken. My mirror too is broken. What do I do now? The witches will strike me down the moment they find out. I better go to my niece, 
She's the only one that can help me with her prayers. What? Auntie, I just came here to pray since you're uncomfortable with my prayers in your house. That's no problem. Here is pretty better than inside. I'll be praying here from now so I won't disturb you. No, Jane. You should continue to pray in my house, please. What? Auntie, you ain't serious, are you? I'm serious. Witches are after my life, and only you can help me through your prayers. Jane, that's your Jesus you always talk about. How do I receive him? I want to belong to him. Please help me. Praise the Lord. I've been praying for the salvation of your soul. Auntie, repeat these prayers with me. Lord Jesus, today I come to you. I repent of my wicked ways. And I asked you to come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. Let every evil curse against my life be destroyed. I surrender my life to you today and I receive the power to be a child of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, my dear. Thank you so much. I'm now a child of God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. God bless you.